make sure everything's fucking doing what it needs to do. Action. <laughs> Why are you guys do- starting? <laughs> no one ever consulted me about starting the podcast with a clap and an action. Why is that? Well, why are you guys doing that? Because why, are, why are you guys doing stuff and not fucking consulting me? Well, when you start editing the video, then you can decide on the clapping. Mm. The we clapping all, is to line them all up. Do you know how long it took me to pixelate a photo? It took me <laughs> 15 minutes to go into my photo editing app and figure it out. Which photo app did you use? Photor. Well, that's it's the first fun because they spell photo. photo with an F. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds very generic. Did it put a watermark on there? No, there is no watermark. <laughs> Man, those are fucking sad. You know, when someone's got like a crown on their photo and it says like Canva, <laughs> it's like, bruh. Pay the two ninety nine. <laughs> yeah, it's it's cheap. You don't have to do that. Well, I feel weird without headphones. I, I do, like too. Not, I, I feel like it's not working. Uh-oh, that's me. <laughs> what happened? I do, too. I think I have to wear the headphones. I think I have to. It just, it's <laughs> such a night. Nice, what are you laughing at? My sis just texted, dude, I love the outdoors. <laughs> <laughs> Someone commented that on, did I say that? Is that what it was? Yeah. I can't, someone commented that and I started laughing or they DM me on Instagram, dude, I fucking love the outdoors. <laughs> and I was like, I couldn't remember if I, I said know. it. I I'm going to try without Try it. it without. It just makes me feel weird. Not wearing the headphones? Like I don't feel like the microphone's on. That, I think that's what makes me feel weird is that I was like, is this thing on? Are we, Hello? Is we, are we working? <laughs> Why did she text you that? Dude, I fucking love the outdoors. Because it's hilarious. Oh, man. That's the stupidest thing I said. <laughs> we should get t-shirts made with that. Like, I would wear a shirt like that. I would, too, with, like, just a couple says, evergreen yes. silhouette in the background. Well, I think I think of, like, you know those tattoos where it's, like, a nice triangle or what, or, like, mm-hmm. a that's not a triangle. That is a... Pyramid. No, no that is It's called, not a pyramid. This it's is called a, a diamond. Yeah. <laughs> But in school, we call it a rhombus. I was just, just going to say a rhombus. <laughs> I swear. It's called a diphthong. It's called a diphthong. <laughs> it's called a... Why is there an H after the P? That's what I want to know. In the word diphthong. Ask... Uh, dip thong Ask fresh thyme. Man. I call up to fresh thyme. <laughs> and I'm like, first off, I got a few questions for you. <laughs> Man, I drove- They're like, ma'am, yes, we do have toilet paper in stock. I'm like, that's not what I'm calling about. <laughs> do you have toilet paper? <laughs> I drove by Fresh Time yesterday, and it's huge. It's freaking huge, dude. The place is popping, and it's got the nice... The vibe on the outside of Fresh Time is just... <laughs> it's very welcoming. It's like you're driving up to a nursery. Oh, yeah. A plant nursery. And, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. <laughs> To a bunch Jesus of babies, nerd. yeah, there. just a bunch of fucking babies. <laughs> God, I remember like being a kid and like driving by nurseries and being like in the in the back seat in my parents' car, like being like fucking hate. They won't let me get fucking soda when we go to the restaurant. I'm so mad, and I would be so fucking pissed off. And I remember like driving and seeing a nursery and like you're a kid, and I was like, <laughs> wait a second, that's a fucking plant place, and like just. It was mind blowing to me. Do you know what I'm talking about? When you like first realize that a nursery is a fucking plant pa- place. What was it, Frank's? I, no, I'm not from here. Do you remember Frank's? Frank's was nationwide. I'm sick of you two leaving me out of stuff. <laughs> Frank's. I'm sick of you two knowing what things are, doing a clap all together. <laughs> it's oh, called elderly. I'm sick of it. Yeah, we're introducing a new uh, segment to the show. Uh, <laughs> Anytime we talk about old people or old things, <laughs> it's elderly talk. It's the elderly corner. <laughs> elderly corner. <laughs> it's the elderly corner. Well, I would like everybody uh, to, you know, watching the video uh, to take a look right behind Libby. 
Uh, and for those of you that aren't watching the video, we do suggest that you watch this on YouTube because uh, we have very nice lights. Everything's very nice, and I think it's fun to watch us on here. But <clears throat> if you're only an audio listener, let me describe <laughs> to you. First of all, Randall, could you let us know uh, where you found this little shelf? And Yeah, went- actually... Originally, I bought it at fucking Schnooks about 10 years ago in a cutout <laughs> section for like six bucks. Schnooks is a grocery station or a grocery, <laughs> a grocery store. Wait, you bought it in the closeout section? Yeah, it was God, a cutout there's... for like six bucks. I got a closeout deal from there recently. It was six mixing bowls for eight ninety nine. Nice. Wow. Uh-huh. And it's been in my basement. I forgot it was down there. Whole, he said he I used mean... to put pictures and stuff on it. Oh, sure. Pictures of uh, fa- people that you love. Pictures of... We have a picture of Jeremy Dolce at the top. Yep. We Tina gotta... said it looked like an obituary card. So, well, <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. to Jeremy Dolce. R.I.P. <laughs> Jeremy Dolce, uh, biggest fan of Slap City. Yeah, so let me describe this tower for you. This is kind of a tower of power, I will say. It's like, it's a multi-tiered <laughs> shelf. It's got one, two, three... Four, I think five, five potential spots for shit. Well, what we need to do is cut it in half and take just big screws and just drill them into the wall. Bolt it into the wall. Put your half over there and my half over here. So that we can have it. I think it fits better behind you. Because I'm trashy? Well, yeah. just, I mean, that is that light is just your essence. That micro <laughs> or fiber, fiber optic. optic. Uh-oh. Um, I think it's okay right now. <laughs> well, good thing you have your headphones on or you wouldn't have known. Would Randy, Randy would have known, right? Correct. Okay. Call. He's the ma- He's the master. He's, he's the sound master. My heart stopped. Why? Oh, Randall. I thought the mic was going on because I took the processor in to get it fixed. Randy's and, taking everything uh, in to get it fixed. And my it- heart stopped. My stomach is like down at my feet. It's down by his ball sack. <laughs> Also by my feet. <laughs> Welcome to Elderly Corner. Welcome to the Elderly Corner. Yeah, but this uh, multi-tiered shelf that we've got is just Randy. It's very fancy. It's one of those nice corner ones too, where it like comes to a nice triangle. And listen, if you've got a barren corner in your house, a barren womb, yeah, or a barren womb, and you're looking to fill it with something, you know, why don't you get yourself? A bunch of photos of Ann Getty's babies <laughs> and put them up on that multi-tiered shelf. Wow. I just can't stop looking at it in the camera because it looks so beautiful. Yeah, it's very nice. We got the fiber optic light on top that Libby procured from eBay and fought to the death with people. What's going on? You're touching your face. I had a little bit of spittle. Can I have some spray? Since oh, I got yeah. the herpes on my hand. Yes. I don't want to touch it, though. Thanks. Oh, Okay. She got the hurt. You know what? Libby and I, we're on the same cycle. I got a herpy too. Now? Yeah. But I took my medicine and it cut that bitch right in half. I did not. It's ask already the in the heat. Why? Because we had so many other things going on that I forgot about the herpes. You should just call up there. That's hilarious that he lo- like looked at you and wasn't like, damn. I had a mask on. Oh. We both had mask on. Okay. She. She. Wow. Because we do have female doctors. I have now. a woman doctor, okay? I got a woman pussy doctor and a woman <laughs> do- real doctor. I love this lady. She's so fucking nice. Man, I had the best experience with the new new doctor, too. It was great. You know what she did say? We I only cried once, and that was... Keep going. I only cried once. That's great. Me, too. In and- my appointment, <laughs> I cried. And it was because I was talking about how I was having uh, trouble getting diagnosed. Sure. And um, I said, you know, I I kept telling them that I've tried diets and like nothing happens. And I was like, they don't, they never believed me. She goes, you know what? I never believed people either until I went through menopause. And now I have weight on my body that literally I can't get off. She goes, I think this was God telling me to um, be more, um, I forget what word she said. She she believes it was a message from God. Wow. Well, you know what? I, I, I'll take that. Whatever whatever she's got to do to be more, more tolerant <laughs> tolerant of fat people. 
Wow. So is this lady, a, uh, is she a lipedema doctor or is she She's just a, a primary care? Just primary care. Okay. But I found her on a lipedema site as ah. lipedema friendly or whatever. Great. Which is terrible. Like you have to find a doctor that knows about lipedema. Yeah, that's just mind blowing to me that nobody knows about it. I didn't know about it though. I didn't know about it either. But you would think, I mean, they just don't, apparently doctors don't spend a lot of time on the lymphatic system and. Oh, like in their training? Yeah. Interesting. So maybe they should start doing it a little more. I mean, there's so many different things though. How do they pick what to pinpoint? Yeah, but I mean, it's like, wouldn't you try to, uh, yeah, I guess I'm like, it's kind of like, I don't know. There's like this one profession where it's like, maybe they should like try new training methods and learn how to not. kill people yeah and you know maybe they should learn it but you know it's just how do you focus on something like that like human life it's like it's really valuable you know to some people but it's like you know we just don't have time i you know it's nine months in the police academy i don't know and you want to take resources away from this profession well listen Uh, we don't have enough training as it is i got nine months and i'm getting in there and i'm freaking shooting that gun (laughs) you know what i'm doing i'm parking my car in the middle of a fucking desert and I'm shooting up freaking Kansas soda, get my aim down while drinking a fucking glass bottle of whiskey. But why would you shoot a can of soda? That's such a waste. I know, but it's hilarious. Oh, I had a Sprite in Arizona and I'm telling you, it blew my mind. Had you never had a Sprite? I haven't had soda in so long. Oh, so you treated yourself. You were Ooh. like, uh-oh, I'm getting crazy. I'm like, I'm probably going to die anyway because I'm shitting my guts out. Drink a soda. Man. Oh, update on the diarrhea, guys. That didn't see my Instagram story. I have a parasite. I have a family <laughs> of parasites living in my intestine from eating all the... Garden salad. Garden salad, which is up to 200 cases now. I think they're going to really start rolling in now. So did we talk about this on last week's podcast, like how funny it was that someone sent that to you? No, we talked about last time that I had diarrhea. Okay, okay. And it was unknown diarrhea. Well, Libby's friend Marcy texted her and was like... Did you eat this? Hey, there's a recall. Because she knows every fucking recall. She sends, she puts them on Facebook all the time and sometimes she'll send them to me. Like a week or so ago, she sent the ground beef one. And I was like, oh, I don't buy beef from Walmart. So I didn't have to worry about that. But as soon as I saw the picture of the My Little Salad Bar garden salad. The the face you just saw me make where I looked a little scared (laughs) is because I have ground beef from Walmart. Well, you better get on there and check it out. Oh, fuck. It might be just the tube. Do you buy the tube? No, I don't buy the tube. You, well, do you think <laughs> I buy the tube? No, but I'm just making sure for your own safety and health. For sure. it's The tube always grosses me out. I don't know why. Because it's a log of Yeah, it's just a meat log. And you got to squeeze it out. It's like... That makes me think of the guy that got mad about the sausage <laughs> and called and re- left them a oh, voicemail. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> The Jimmy Dean sausage? Yes. Wasn't it like a matter of 0.2 ounces or something (laughs) that he was mad about? That's Randy's favorite prank call. Yeah. That was hilarious. It's not, it's not even a prank call though. It's just very, I mean, that guy was very upset. Yeah. So the bagged salad mix is recalled and I mean, what are the fucking odds? As of June twenty second, the salad mix has sickened one hundred twenty two nope. people. In That's the old states. one. It's up to two hundred now. Oh wow! I get my information from the CDC. I can't believe that you are a victim of salad recall. I, a salad I recall. can because I eat it so much that the odds are very high. Sure. I literally eat it several times a day. So how many bags of this do you buy when you go into all I'll buy like two of the of the garden okay. salad that has the carrots and the, the purple cabbage. Thing. It's it's cabbage. And then I buy two bags of the butter lettuce. Are you okay? I buy that <laughs> shit too. I get the uh the little Asian mix one. Uh, I forget what they call it. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. The, the chopped um, salad mix. Yes. That and, one's fine. And uh, spinach and the 
Those are fine. The Rand, stuff. The way that you <laughs> held your he stomach, went, oh. I thought you were about to have diarrhea. <laughs> In that moment, like, oh, God, I got so scared. I, I predict there's so many cases that people don't even know. Had Marcy not sent that to me, I wouldn't have known. Because my doctor literally literally said, I'm not sure where you would have picked that up. I haven't seen it before. And you're like, listen, I spend hours <laughs> on, on the internet, the internet scouring recalls. <laughs> I'm the recall police. I'm the recall, the recall re- recalibrator. <laughs> Marcy's the recallist. She's, <laughs> she's the head honcho. <laughs> She's a recallologist. You know, there's. I always get so annoyed of people that share the recalls on Facebook. <laughs> like, it drives me fucking crazy when they don't even, or like, if they're just sharing the link. You know how many times I've gone down a deep, dark spiral on like some Trump supporter that's like said racist shit on Facebook. And I'm like, uh, fuck this bitch. And I go to our Facebook and it's just fucking pages of recalls. <laughs> And like every now and then there will be a comment like, uh oh, tag Tamra Wiley. And it's like, uh oh, tag Crystal Diamond. Oh, God. Yeah, it's wild. Rand- Randy's reading the apology letter from Aldi. I'm awful sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, they're going to be sorry when they owe me $4 for bags of. You walk in there with a bag of diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> No, luckily I don't holding have any a, more diarrhea. Holding a bag of diarrhea and holding, you want some yes. spray? Thanks. Libby and I, for those of uh, you that are just listening, <clears throat> Libby and I both have herpes on our mouths right now. Mine is in the healing stage. It's much. It's gone along much faster than Libby's. But uh, I have like three clusters. Yeah. I had a little cluster, but I I noticed it. I was at the lake laying out, and that's I am, why the sun. Yeah, well, but I put sunscreen on. I am obsessive. About I did it too because I I mean I have to. That well, sun the, just activates. Sure, it. sure, sure. It definitely does activate. It. But you're gonna have a lesser chance of getting them with the sunscreen on. How much of a chance would you have of getting uh, cyclospora from Aldi lettuce? <laughs> Uh, I would say there's 200 cases. <laughs> I just regurgitate it's, what I heard. It's fucking, it is fucking crazy. It's because cr- it's, it's you eat it so much, brother. The the chance, and that's what ha- you know. That's my life. That's me trying to be on some kind of weight loss journey. There's always a blockade. I'm gonna cut you. I'm gonna stop you right there. A blockade. There, there definitely is. But I'm gonna stop you right there. <laughs> my mother would shit in her fucking house, shit on the floor with upsetness if she knew that you were buying bag salad. My mother doesn't, my mom <laughs> hates it. She hates bag salad so much. She's always like, oh my God, these lazy fucks <laughs> buying. And it's just, she's always hated it. It's like we talked about like her with the chopped onions. I know people that will buy a chopped onion, carrot, and celery mix. And my mom is like, oh, no, I would these, never do such a thing. These lazy motherfuckers, <laughs> they can't chop up their shit themselves. No. She hates it. And she's the same way. Like, she would rather cr- spend an hour creating her own garden salad than buying a bag no, salad. No, not me. I think, I'm going to take my chances again. I'm going to eat it, too, because I'm not. I get I, I, I'm not. I buy bagged spinach and stuff like that. It's like, I'm not buying a f- fucking, I'm not getting some stupid little doggy bag at the grocery store <laughs> and putting all this loose leaf spinach in there and then putting it on the fucking scale. To know how much I'm going to spend. Leaf. This loose leaf, flat leaf spinach. Oh, God, what? my mom. I think my mom actually hates the bagged lettuce because of the parasites. Well. I'm not sure why. It's a good reason. But I'm going to text her and ask her why she hates bagged lettuce so let's much. Let's talk about how. Excuse me. Literally, if, if I didn't have bagged lettuce, I would eat garbage all the time. So my choice is to eat bagged lettuce. Or go to McDonald's. Because I'm not going to sit there and chop up lettuce. Libby, I'm not. I understand. It's convenience. I'm not mad at you. Oh, no. I'm just saying. Yeah. Uh, Man, she just fucking death stared into the camera. If 
if you're you tell your mom to would go you, fuck herself. Would you rather <laughs> would you rather Libby be in the low three forties? <laughs> Or the high 380s. You it choose. doesn't have anything to do with weight. It's about <laughs> my mother gets mad when people charge her extra for things. Do you get what I'm but saying? Just tell her that there'd you're be paying a lot for more, convenience. Tell her there'd be a lot more fat people if there wasn't bagged <laughs> lettuce. <laughs> my mom is so against somebody charging her extra for stuff. When we would go to Wendy's as kids and get soda, she would be like, no ice. Because she wants that. Extra. She she wants that extra little bit. Well, and then we'll put ice in at home. That was always her. I'm like, I want ice. Wait, she would put home ice in a soda. <laughs> that is she's not okay. Split up the soda and put it in the multiple <laughs> cups. Yes. I, I'm appalled. You she can't is, have a soda from a restaurant with the home ice. Home ice is big. No, the, well, this home ice was like the those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. Yeah, it came from the fridge machine. Yeah, those are too big. They're like that nice little crisp. <laughs> almost crisp. looks like a moon. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, I love those. And they're hollow sometimes. They're so nice. I I'm not I'm not an advocate of those. If you have fast food ice, if if my grandmother who used to cook those stupid at home hamburgers. That were disgusting. What are at home home burger or hamburger? It's just a hamburger she made at home, but they were always gross. It's like, Grandma, we want McDonald's, you dumb cunt. Uh, okay, okay. If she had tried to put some home ice in a soda, you'd just fucking flip your lid. I would lose it. The term home ice is fucking <laughs> hilarious. Because it's ridiculous. If somebody disrespected my delicious fountain soda from a place... By putting home ice in there. You're done. <laughs> How dare you? Oh, God. And then, the, uh, yeah, they're like assaulting it almost. <laughs> or, better yet, if they have an old funky two liter sitting out on the counter and put some of the home ice in a cup, then start pouring that hot ass two liter. Uh uh-uh. uh. You don't fuck with that? Not a hot two liter. When that's, I drank soda, that's I put what a the lot. two liter in the fridge. That's what, and then you're drinking it with no ice, either no ice or home ice. So when you're going to either no ice or home ice, you'll yes. put home ice in the two liter that's been in the fridge. Yes, God, because it's not fountain soda. Okay, so if if you're going to McDonald's, are you getting extra ice, or are no. you you get ice though? Just the regular. Amount. What if they gave you a fountain soda with no ice? It would be fine because McDonald's cools their soda. Their soda is chilled. Every place should have chilled soda. They should, but they don't. I haven't talked to my mom in a few days, and I just texted her and said, Mom, why do you hate bag <laughs> salad so much? Out of fucking nowhere. My mom's going to be like, oh, my God, did I do something wrong? <laughs> tell her I get parasites. Oh, dude, she's if I tell she's her that, lose her she, mind. she will literally be like... <gasps> This is why you don't buy this. Dude, she'll freak the fuck out. I'm going to call her and be like, Mom, Libby has parasite. Just like that. And she'll be like, are you making fun of me? And I'll be like, yes, she is, ma'am. Yes, I am. Mother bitch. Mother bitch, fuck. God. Oh, dude. So you're just, you're not fucking with a hot two liter. What about the people that have a, uh, that have a fucking all those hot two liters sitting in their ga- garage just on the ground. That's Do you know fine. what I'm talking about? That's fine, but don't serve it to me. You put it in the fridge for at least, I'd say, 12 hours. So here's my next question. Say you're at a party, hanging out with friends, and you see an old two liter sitting on the uh, sitting on the dry bar, sitting on the dining room table. You know, they're having a pizza party. You got invited over for a fun pizza party, and you're you're impressed. You're walking in, and you are fucking impressed because not only do they have pizza out on the table, they've got the little table tent in the middle of the pizza. So that way you know that this fucking pizza is hot. It's good. So you're impressed already. And not only do they have pizza, but they've got apps. They've got mozzarella sticks. they got Ooh. jalapeno poppers. They've got, you know, what other stuff do you serve at a pizza party? Think a of a, a pizza party. Taco dip? What? <laughs> Artichoke dip? 
Oh, that ser- is served at a pizza party? I've never really been to a pizza party. I don't really know if I have, but I know it's a thing. Well, I'll tell you what I would do. Well, I did go to a pizza party for like, you know, reading a book or something like that. It was like, hey, it's a pizza party. <laughs> but I mean, so listen, we're talking top lot of, of the stuff. line, top of the line pizza party. Do they have a dessert table? They've got a dessert table. Not only do they have a dessert table, they've got dessert pizza that they got oh. from Pizza Street and they got it to go. <laughs> Okay. Is it the cinnamon one? It's it's the cinnamon one. It's uh the one with the crumb. I mean, it's good shit. Fuck, I miss Pizza Street. You know your Pizza Street. <laughs> Pizza Street. 349 all you can eat. Pizza Street. Pizza Street. <laughs> all you can eat for 349. Wow. Is God that the same damn. price? They still have Pizza Street? I don't know. We'll look it up when we're done it, with this hypothetical situation. So, here's what I'm thinking. You walk in and you are impressed. They've got, <laughs> bull, they've got, not only do they have this wonderful spread of food. And the the kind of party I'm envisioning in my home is like the cool parents when you're in uh, middle school. Do you know what I'm talking about? Where like you come to their house and... And they, it, you feel safe there. They are. They've got movies. You can be as loud as you want, and they fucking hook it up with the food. You know, they make they're like Shirley Temples. For yeah, you. they're just having a blast. And okay. this is a very fun, safe environment. You're impressed all up to the point that you see a bunch of two liters on their kitchen counter next to their coffee pot, and they've got a big bitchin kitchen. This is a nice, nice mm-hmm. kitchen. Do they have granite countertops? No, they're bad ones. But this is 1997. So, I mean, you know, you're not going to have fancy countertops yet. No. So, or this is today. I don't know. We're, we're just hypothetical spitballing. So you see those two liters sitting there. First oh. of all, let me just say, you said this is safe. It's not a safe space. They're putting two liters on a counter hot. They haven't thought ahead about anyone's feelings. I haven't said that they're hot. I'm saying, are you gonna are you gonna question them and say, "Hey, was this in the fucking fridge?" I might go up and put my hand on it. Mm-hmm. I can usually see too if there's condensation. I know it's been in the fridge. It's fucking cold. If it's got a little dust around the top, that bitch has been in the garage. It's been sitting in the garage, and they have it. They bought it at the supermarket. Oh, if the kids come over, we'll put these out. They'll get like a Coke, a Sprite, and an orange. Everybody mm-hmm. likes those three flavors. Yeah. If they like diet, it's they drink water. Yeah. You want diet? Go fuck yourself. You're, so, getting, you're getting punched. I will walk in and, and look at all the food and, and be sad that I have to pick up my pocketbook and turn around and leave. <laughs> It's kind of like I have to pick up my pocketbook. <laughs> it's kind of like when you um the bit you do about seeing a dude's feet. Yeah. And you're just like no thank you. And you head on out. That you do not. Let's say someone was holding a graduation party for me. Sure. I would stay, but I'd be bl- the blind rage inside of me. Yeah. Seeing those 2 liters is enough to make me, I don't know how to say this, shoot up the place, <laughs> start killing people. So you're seeing those sodas, those two liters just sitting on the fucking, on the dry bar, sitting on, you know, the the, mm-hmm. the, the, the station, the countertop at a graduation party held for you. You're walking right over and you're going into a full rage and you're pushing them <laughs> off. You're, op- you're shaking them up and opening them and blasting <laughs> them out in whomever's home is hosting this graduation party for you. Because you're yeah. not you're not fucking with hot two liters. I'd rather drink water, frankly. Wow. And I don't like to drink water. I can't tell you how many times I've put ice into a cup and poured a hot two mm. liter in there. And just to think you sitting there enjoying all those good foods and then washing it down with water it's not a party anymore i don't know what it is you're, a funeral you're it's a fucking funeral 
Man. Check this situation. You're the you're the designated driver like I often would be if I had a clean car. Mm-hmm. If I had a clean car, I'd be I'd be you go to a bar, man, they got the biggest every drink you can see up on the rail. Every drink, every beer. But you just wanted soda cuz you're the designated driver. The bartender picks up a can of Coke that's been sitting <laughs> under that counter for I don't know how long and pops it open and it's hotter than shit. And then she's going to pour it over a fucking ice wow. and then scoot it across to you as if you're going to disrespect your own body <laughs> and drink a hot soda. I'm going to tell you one thing. You're going to some trashy dive bars if they ain't got a fucking soda gun, brother. Or you're at a wedding. Well, you know, it might be the wedding at the VFW. Yeah. Right? But the point is, is I'm sacrificing my fun to drive drive people home. Your health, too. You know, I'm not getting drunk, and yet I'm being disrespected with a hot can of Coke that's Probably been sitting there since 83. It's got like the bubble at the top because it got too hot. <laughs> Botulism you know? in it. And it's a can of Coke. They don't even make that particular style anymore. It looks a different logo from uh-huh. the 80s. You're like, wow, this is an antique. Yeah. That thing should be sold at an antique. That thing should be poured out mm-hmm. and then sold to an antique mall. And then that antique mall should be burned to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to shoot up that <laughs> antique mall. So that's if you ever want to throw a party for Slap City and invite us over because you for want a to pizza treat us, party, if you don't put those two liters in that fridge, I don't even drink soda anymore. But if I see a hot two liter, I will leave. <gasps> she gone. Yeah, I think the two liters are the subpar. Those are like the inferior sodas too. It's like people buy them for convenience. I think because it's because when I think a two liter. I'm thinking a pizza party, a potato party. A, uh, I, I'll elaborate on what a potato party, party is here in a moment. Maybe you're making um, floats. Yeah, maybe floats. you're having a party at your home. You know, you're having a surprise party. So, you know, you're the fun guy that got two liters because you want everybody to be able to choose what they mix their drink with. Or, you know, you want people to, you buy the the single little cups and everyone's pouring two liters in and stuff. Mm. It's just, because, I mean, the cans of Coke are expensive. I don't know how much a two liter's running right now. Here's the hierarchy. But I know it's five ninety nine <laughs> for a fucking 12-pack of soda. Am I Fresca? And if I'm not getting it, buy one, get one. I'm stealing that soda. <laughs> Here, here's how it goes. Fountain can really two liter individual bottles <laughs> does that just blow your mind you, oh, say that again fountain fountain is the top top the dude best. i'm about to fuck your world up here in a second especially fountain, mcdonald's phone this is i'm speaking directly about coke product because that's what i drink fountain cold can Maybe put it in the freezer for a little bit. Two liter mm-hmm. individual bottle. The tall bottles Whoa. taste different than the short bottles. So a <laughs> individual bottle is worse than a two liter? Yes. But Why? you have to drink the two liter in one day because if you don't, it gets flat. So you don't know how many two liters i've thrown out when they get to like you can't, the half point you can't leave it for two days no yeah you can how much we running right now for a two liter on sale at schnooks for a dollar 89 normal price 219 that's a good good price randy regular you're looking at the bucks. schnooks brand diet cola oh okay diet coke two liter 10 for 10 the schnooks brand I mean, have you ever tried the Schnucks brand? No. Why would I disrespect Coke? It's not as good. Wow. I mean, I think that the fountain is far less superior. Have you ever had a Coke fountain? I mean, a McDonald's Coke? I mean, probably. I don't really drink soda, but this is why I say this being somebody that has worked in a restaurant 
for a while. I don't like it because it's just a big pack of syrup and it's being mixed with CO2. Do you like that it's being mixed with the CO2 as it's being poured? Is that why it's the freshest? I don't like bar soda. I don't like those. I don't like those kind. There's something about. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But they're all from the same thing. Listen. So at the restaurant that I work at, Specifically, there is one station in the back that's got all of the fucking sodas. And it's this big, heavy ass box that I get so fucking mad at because the cardboard is glued on so tight that I always walk up to it (laughs) and I do this. I go, (laughs) I do a quick, swift, and I just punch it, punch that bitch right in its face and bust it open. Yeah. And sometimes I miss. Because you got to take off the thing and then put yes. the other thing on there? Yes. So, I mean, you got to you gotta either have a box cutter, a strong person, or a lot of rage to bust that bitch open. Well, and I have so much rage. There, so I just... The syrup is hot there. Yes. At McDonald's, it's cold. You yes. don't know that. Nope. It 100... That's the secret to McDonald's. Look up secret to McDonald's fountain soda. They have the chilled syrup. What? Where is it all in a walk-in? It, it's not. It's not even in those boxes. I think they have them in big drums. Big drummies. Big drums. Uh, I'll take a full order of wings. All drummies. Go fuck yourself. Drummies suck. I cannot believe that Tina would question me. The queen of. <laughs> I have the body to prove that I'm a coke expert. Okay. Says because it's in stainless steel tanks and not plastic bags. Or more reason. Okay. It's chilled. I, w- I want to know if it's actually chilled. So you're telling me when you're going out to a restaurant and you're getting yourself a Coke, it's just not as good. Even if it comes from the fountain. What if Some, you go to Quick Trip? No. Terrible Coke. Really? The worst. Quick Trip has the worst. As far as gas stations, On the Run has a good mix. And I think the the mix is the amount of syrup with the amount of CO2. Or Why milk. is Quick Trip's bad? It's very low. They have a low ratio. It's not sweet enough? It's too watery. Wow. This is mind This is blowing. why it's an, an addiction to me, because I know. I know you can where tell to get a fix. Yes. You can, you Taco can... Bell has Pepsi, but they have the best Pepsi. I don't really like Pepsi, but they have the best Pepsi of fast food restaurants. I feel like, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I choked on my nicotine mint. <laughs> I promise. I found a video <laughs> that says five reasons why McDonald's sold Let's better. put it on. Crank it up. It's one minute and 22 seconds. We got fucking time. I probably need a headphone, don't I? Uh, it's up to you. Okay, yeah, then just I'll, it, I'll, I'll stall. Hold on, Randy. Wait for me. Ah! Oh, my God, my pussy. <laughs> I'm going to be like a DJ one. That's, Hello? Okay. Wow. Oh, wait, go back. We got to read gotta everything. Read oh, we got to fucking read it? That's okay. Uh, we Libby can do this. You're the voiceover queen. All right, we'll go back. Happy mouth now. Also, those letters are moving fast. Five reasons McDonald's Coke tastes better. Hit it, Libby. Hit it, Sam. One, yeah. special storage. I can't see it all. Oh, I'll you, read it. Turn it. There you go. You got it? Most restaurants have soda syrup delivered in plastic bags. But McDonald's Coca-Cola syrup is stored in stainless steel tanks. This preserves the syrup flavor by protecting it from temperature, light, and air. 
Whoa. Number two reason. McDonald's Cokes across the globe taste almost identical. That's because McDonald filters their water many times over them to maintain consistent flavor. So it's an air filter. So <laughs> fresh. Wow. Oops. Syrup math. Most fountain drink machines flash till soda, flash chill soda as their dispense. We should read every other. Oh, but McDonald's pre chills their syrup. There you go. There's the answer to your question. Okay. McDonald's also mixes a syrup to water ratio to account for ice melt. Whoa. That means the drink has a slightly higher ratio at sip number one. Oh, yeah. Dude, is that a piece of shit to the left of there? Oh, that was Coke. <laughs> it was Coke on there. I literally thought it was a piece of dookie. Is it me or you? It's uh, you. Look what I'm loving it is in German. I ich liebe it. yes. To make sure that sips four, five, and six are supremely refreshing, too. Wow. <clears throat> Don't mess with the math. Number four, chili temps. McDonald's keeps the water for their sodas incredibly cold. Insulated tubes carry water that's stored at just about freezing from, uh, from the fridge to the back of the restaurant. Hold on, hold on. Pause that. I got to take that all in. Insulated tubes carry water that's stored at just above freezing from the ridge and fridge in the back of the restaurant. Wow. That is crazy. <laughs> <clears throat> to the fountain drink dispenser in the front. Now, they should have included this all in one thing. Yeah. Because it doesn't make sense. The temperature of the water is also optimized for peak carbon dioxide levels. That's CO2 for you dum-dums. <laughs> Which keeps your pop bubbly and crispy longer no 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 pause you don't get to say soda in one video and then switch to pop now you pick one before they say straw size straw secrets i can tell you it's all about the size taco bell has the smallest circumference of straws and you don't get as much soda out i bet that's what it's gonna say straw this secrets how big this straw is. yeah it's a it's a big it's a big boy this mcdonald's straw is wider than that of any other oh, fast food chain. I can't wait till Tina has to apologize to me after this presentation. I'm going to make a public apology. I don't know, dude. Those old red Jack in the Box cocaine straws were pretty big. They are. Jack in the Box has good sized ones, too. Did we read that slide? So your taste buds get hit with all the flavor. That's a lot of quality control for a fast food drink. I don't think it's about quality control. I think it's about addiction. They have an addiction? No, they're making you have an addiction. Oh, yeah, you're right. Well, because, I mean, sugar is like an addiction. And they're just making it prime, prime, prime so that you just want to suck down more and more. Sorry, I have like food in the corners of my mouth or I'm, something. I am... um. Very sorry for what I said to you, because now I understand what goes on. I, I understand. That makes sense. I just always thought the cans were and and bottles were better because they're they're always stored in a cooler. You know what I mean? If you're going to a gas station, and you're buying them and it's like they've got the assembly line and that's where Coke makes their shit because Coke is the fucking had honcho and all of this right do you get what i'm saying mcdonald's just does what they can to make the coke serve the best but coke objectively is the they're the guys behind this right do you get what i'm saying big coke big coke dude man there's nothing like doing drugs with a straw i'll say <laughs> that i mean just cutting that straw right in half not even in half. You, you One McDonald's straw, you got a straw for a while. Because number one, that bitch is not biodegradable. So the only thing that will happen is maybe it gets bent <laughs> in your purse, you know, because you just slop everything it in there willy-nilly. Bent, you try to take a drink and it's got a hole, so you're like... <sighs> you're talking four four little snooters, four oh. little sniffers. Kitty's over there having... 
Here's the deal, though. These are the same size as a cigarette because that's what I held on to when I stopped smoking to make me feel like I had a cigarette. Same size. Damn. So there you go. Cigarette, oral fixation, Coke, it all goes together. Why did you quit smoking? Like, I, I mean, not, I, I know why it's bad for you and all <laughs> of that, but I mean, what, what were you just like, did you start feeling it in your lungs? Yeah, were you was, like, uh, I'm just feeling bad? I just, I was starting to feel real like my lungs were starting to hurt. And my breathing was becoming labored. Shallow. Shallow. Labored. My doctor the other day said uh, my lungs sounded really good. I'd like to see one of those pictures of your lungs where they show us what's up. You know, when they... You mean like an (laughs) (laughs) x-ray? Yeah, I'd like to see one of them pictures of your bones. (laughs) You, uh, You ever go to the dentist and they give you back photos, pictures of your teeth? I like that. I always think, why can't I just take the picture with my cell phone? I like to put it in my billfold and let people see the pictures of my bones. <laughs> <laughs> you know how I can't uh, stop looking at the cat. I'm sorry. You, you know how some people just carry around pictures of their children. <laughs> I carry on a picture of my lungs. <laughs> It's a picture. Is it a black and white picture? (laughs) It's a black and white picture of my lungs. One before smoking or one uh, one while I was smoking and one after. And I just like to show everybody I meet. Just let them know. And I'm like, check out this picture of my lungs. I drove on the way here. I drove by a, a senior living place. And you went to check yourself in. <laughs> Almost. Uh, in in my head, I thought, God, I hope I never live in one of those. I hope I die before I have to live there. And then I thought, if I do live there, I'm going to start smoking again. That's what I thought in my head. Yeah, because you're on just highway be miserable. Like, what else would you do? You're You're on your way out. It's really sad, too, because it's like, I feel like everybody that's in those homes, like, that's older is like everybody it's like they're alone everybody they know is dead yeah and they're just alone like it's like no couples are really going in there together and if they are going in there together one of them's about to die pass away pass away i'm sorry that was so fucking rude (laughs) i don't ever want to be living in one of those places first of all i'll never have the money for it no so please just let me croak my mom did it right she said i just want to fucking croak one day that's what i'm i want to do don't put me in no damn jukebox oh jukebox i'm pissing everywhere uh shitting myself all the time yeah i hope i go before then there's a few things i'd like to get done before i pass on i'd like to go to ross dress for less and pick up a couple (laughs) deals i'd like to go to marshall's and get a Nice sign. Get me a candle. Get me a nice, reasonably priced candle. You know, that's what I love about Marshalls. You get yourself a candle that's six ninety nine, and it was originally priced at fourteen ninety nine. Can't You're beat like, that. Where? What other store was this at? Where it was fourteen ninety nine? Yeah, because I want to buy the fourteen ninety nine one. Excuse, could you charge me fourteen ninety nine for this, just I'm, so I feel rich? I just I want to feel like I'm shopping at Pier One Imports. Oh, boy. There's this cat that I work with, uh, and she was talking about, like, how when she's, you know, designing her home or whatever, she's like, I like to see the display. I like to see the display out in Pier 1, and then I buy everything. (laughs) And I was like, that's so sad. I'm like, I'm a good, I'm a thrift shopper. I'm somebody where I'll buy something. And that's like how I've gotten everything in my home. It's like just years of being like, oh, I love that. I need that. I, I want this weird thing from the thrift shop. This would go really nicely here. That would go nicely here. You know what I Do mean? Do you call them pieces? I picked up a nice piece. I have in the past. And I think <laughs> I kind of stopped because I was like, that's fucking hacky. Picked up a nice piece today. I went through a phase of buying so many ashtrays. I used to have oh, God, the coolest ashtrays. 
I think when that was I'm, when I smoked inside too, so it was fucking awesome. I think I'm learning today that I need to start smoking and drinking Coke. <laughs> Again, don't smoke; it's so bad. It is, but it's so good. Yeah, but it's it is just fucking gross. I've been kind of smoking again. It's not good. Not like at the level I was at. I don't think I'll ever get back to that level, which is good. But it's like, you know, there's days I go with none. And then there's days that I have a few. How can you go with none? Because I have nicotine mints. That you choke on? That I choke on regularly. Yeah. I need a barrier. I need one of those plastic Things that they have in all the stores, so I can't see Kitty. He just got real playful for a while. Now yeah. he's just relaxing. Again. Now he's just chilling. I um, I'm on. Let's see, what day of Lexapro am I? Oh yes, I want to hear all about this. Yeah, so I started Lexapro on Tuesday night. Um, and I I I took it at night because somebody told me that you'll maybe have less side effects if you take it before you go to bed versus in the morning because it can make some people tired and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Um, the one thing I will say about it so far, the first day I woke up on Wednesday morning after taking it and, um, I was, I felt like I had a head cold. Like I took too much Mucinex DM. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Have you ever done that where you're just foggy? I take it at Mucinex every day. Do you really? Why? Just Uh, to feel alive? Or, uh, it's a lymphatic protocol. Taking Mucinex? Mm-hmm. Do you take Mucinex Not DM? The DM? No. Oh, I was Just like, regular. what the fuck? Wait, which one is DM? DM's the one that makes you feel fucked no. up. It's got dextromethorphan in it. Oh, no. That I would shit, pass away. I can't take any, any medicine with that in it. And it affects some people differently, like Mucinex does, where I will wake up with my pupils dilated. Like, it is, it, it's like, it's fucked up. I have had to leave work before because I wonder I took if it's Mucinex. because of previous drug use or something. Maybe it, your body responds differently. I don't know. Is it like a? Is it like Benadryl? Yes, that fucks kind of. up a lot of people. Does it not fuck you up? I have had bad dreams on it before, but I think that's like we're reading about the. Yeah, will you look up if um, dextromethorphan has? With this episode might go a little longer because I kind of want to talk about this, like do, the doctor's office and stuff like that. Is everyone okay with that? Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I think it it made me have bad dreams, and that's about it. Yeah, Randy, will you look at? Okay, so blurred vision, difficulty in urination, drowsiness or dizziness, nausea or vomiting, shakiness and unsteady walk, oh my God. slow breathing, unusual excitement, nervousness, restlessness, or irritability. Well, that so, doesn't sound good. I have every single one of those side effects when I take anything like that. But what has sucked is, you know, when you're so fucking sick and you have to take mucinex or you're like, I can't stop coughing. Or if you have like the flu or a, co- a cold or whatever, and you're like so fucking sick and you're just like, I would take that and just be like, oh, will you look at who should not take dextromethorphan? <laughs> Dextra- is everything OK, Randy? No, 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 I'm just making sure. That's right there. Down there. Um, okay, never mind. Scroll down to why there was another one. Why does it make me feel weird? Dude, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, when consumed at inappropriately high doses... DXM can in- induce a state of psychosis characterized by PCP, like psychological oh, yeah. symptoms. So, and I, do you remember, do, do either of you remember like what robo tripping was? It's like you take yes. a shit ton of Robitussin. I think Robitussin has DXM in it too. I'm almost positive. Yeah. And it's like, it's the same kind of thing. And I've done that before where I've taken like way too much of that when I was like younger and an idiot. And it's like, dude, it just... And coracetin, too. Yes. People used to do that, yep. too. Triple C's. <laughs> that's what they would call it. Yeah, but either way, I, like, that shit. So that's how you woke up feeling like that? Yes. <laughs> that's That'll help your anxiety. Jesus Christ. It was not good. But I, and I just felt really weird all day long. So, like, I honestly, and I wanted to work on stuff, but I was like, I can't do anything. Like, I feel so fucking weird. 
And I ended up like sleeping and I'd slept for nine hours the night before. And then I ended up sleeping again during the day because I was just like, I just feel so weird right now. And I was just like, okay, just wait it out. And then I, I took it again or whatever. Like I've taken it on schedule every night about like 10 p.m. And uh, I feel a lot better. Like I, I haven't felt weird like that since. Oh, good. The one thing I will say, though, is I have no appetite. I mean, just none. Which I wonder, I, d- I did some reading on like some subreddits about it. And I'm on 10 milligrams of Lexapro. So then uh, that's what we're starting out with or whatever. But I did some reading on some subreddits and some people were like, well, if your symptoms of anxiety and depression are that you eat a lot or whatever, then you may eat less once your anxiety starts to calm down because oh. you're not as anxious and vice versa. If it's people that don't eat because they're really, really anxious Mm-hmm. then they the opposite yeah and i don't i do a mix of both if my anxiety is very very high which is generally but it's more like a baseline for me it's just all the time all mm-hmm. the time i have racing thoughts intrusive thoughts and like very anxious and then depression is it's just it's kind of always so it's like i feel like some days i eat a lot and then some days i don't eat as much but i'm not you know there's some people right. they're like oh my god i'm so anxious i can't eat and I'm like, I do get that way, like, before shows. Like, if I'm getting ready to go on stage and I eat something, like, eat a fucking full meal, no fucking no. way. I can't. My stomach is, like, flipping. <laughs> no. There's just no fucking way. But, yeah, that's really the only thing. And so far, I'm like, I haven't, I have not had any appetite. And, I mean, I've been eating, but it's just not. You're not like, oh, God, I need to get something to eat. Yeah, it's just kind of been more like for sustenance. Because you know you have to eat. Yeah. And I mean, I'm eating still, you know, like reasonable amounts or whatever. I'm definitely eating less, but I'm granted I'm only like four or five days in or whatever. But we'll see. The doctor was so nice. And she's a regular doctor or psychiatrist? She's a regular doctor, primary care. So I had to get a new one because of my insurance or whatever. And she was fucking, she was so cool. I think it's nice too, because when you're getting a new doctor, you just get, uh, they give you like the thing that says, um, it, it was like a depression sheet or whatever mm-hmm. that you fill out for your symptoms. And then it was an anxiety sheet that you fill out for your symptoms. And I was like, that's nice. Cause it kind of like breaks down that barrier. So I don't have to be like, Right. Oh, this try to explain how I'm feeling. It was like, okay, here's a list of symptoms. Are you having them add up the lines or whatever? And so do I enjoy activities? Yeah. Sometimes, most likely. Rarely or never. Exclusively not. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So that was good. Yeah. But she was she was super nice. I cried in there. I was sitting on the exam table and I started crying and she goes, you can come down. And, like, sit here and, like, gave me some tissues or whatever. I was like, okay. Did you rip the paper? (laughs) Almost. (laughs) She told me to get up on the exam table, and it was about 27 feet off the ground. And I'm like, I'm not a gymnast. You're like, I can't And then she's like, watch this. And she pulls out the little step thing. I'm like, oh, yeah. And then you were able to get up there? Yeah. And then she explored your body. Then she just started fingering me. And I'm like, I'm here for diarrhea, (laughs) not my pussy. All the chairs in there were... This big. She brought in a big, giant computer chair for me. Oh. I know. That's nice. So nice. She's, honest to God, she is the best doctor I've ever had. Well, for her to spend an hour and a half with you, and that's what I, I, I don't know if it's like a woman thing or whatever, but I'm like, the doctor that I have is a woman, and I mean, I she was so kind and understanding and like, Just talk to me about everything. Talk to me about my anxiety. And like she wasn't pushing or being mean or anything like she was just trying to like understand. She's like trying to figure out if I'm functional with the level of anxiety that I have. Like stuff like that. You know what I mean? Because she was like, oh, our, you know, like she was like, okay, so how does it feel? And tried to like get me to articulate it a little bit just so that she could really narrow down like, okay. These are your symptoms. This is what we need to do. I'm like, I started crying and she was like so nice about it. And I was myself. So I started crying. I go, oh, fuck me. <laughs> As I'm crying, I was like, motherfucker, why the fuck am I crying in this stupid fucking doctor's office? I don't was know. Was she fucking- laughing? Yes. 
And she was like, it's okay. You're fine. She's like, just calm. You're okay. Like, just let it out. She goes, it's good. I mean, it's, I know it feels bad, but it's good. You're okay. <laughs> and I was just like, motherfucker. <laughs> I, like, I just, I'm, I can't, I wish I had a filter. But there's a part of me that wants to be like, this is who I am. Like when a doctor comes in. So I'm immediately like, I don't know. There's all this fucking shit. And I feel like this. And I'm literally, cur- I am l- how I am on this talking to the doctor. I did the same thing with the fucking nurse, too. I was the like, fuck nurse. yeah, I'm like, ah, fuck. And she was fucking hilarious because there was a quite an interesting altercation when I. OK, oh so, my God, I got to hear about this. Yeah. So when I got to the doctor's office, it was at slew care or whatever. And they have like this big waiting room and I'm sitting down and waiting. And, uh, you know, they've they've got protocols for COVID and all this stuff. And there's a lot of people coming in and out of that place. And there's like a pharmacy and these like little waiting areas where you walk over to and you pay your copay and you do all that stuff and get set up with them right when you walk in. So everybody's waiting and I'm finishing up and then I'm walking out. And this woman is I can hear her. She's clearly very mentally ill and Um, I'm not saying that to be mean or anything, but it's like she was her anxiety was so high. And she's like talking to the lady at the front desk and she's like, "Okay, well, how are they going to know I'm here? How are they going to know I'm here? I'm here now. And then she starts losing it. And she's like, oh, I bet there's only one fucking person in those boots over there, isn't there? Like where you get checked in and stuff. And I just looked back at her and I go, hey, you need to calm down. (laughs) We are all trying our best. Everybody here is trying their best. Okay? And everybody looks at me that's sitting in the waiting room like... Because everybody's looking at this woman like, are you fucking kidding us? We've all been waiting 20 minutes too. You know what I mean? Everyone's waiting. Everybody's being patient. Everyone has a mask on. This lady doesn't want to wear her fucking mask. And she is hysterical. And I and she is she's on another planet so much so that when I said that she barely registered that I just called her out. Was she like? She was just kind of like, and kept going and went right back. She did keep yes. going because she's not. She was. She's not well. And uh, you know. So then I'm sitting <laughs> in the office. We are waiting. trying our best. Yeah, I was like, everybody is trying their best right now. She's like, does this lady work here? Yeah, I was just like, (laughs) fuck you. You don't get to fucking just start yelling and fucking yelling at everybody here and being crazy as fuck. And so then (laughs) I sit down in my, I'm waiting in the, my doctor's office. And about five minutes later, this woman strolls in. To my doctor's office or whatever. So that's where she was going. Because there's a ton of little offices. So this okay. woman strolls in. And um, she is a famous kind of person around St. Louis. And I realized it while she was in there. Because she walks in and immediately starts knocking on the window to the doctor's office. And goes, is anybody there? Hello? And she's, I mean, she. you could tell. I mean, she's, I do, I felt really bad for her because her anxiety and whatever she's got going on is so bad that it is like all one of the nurses came up and was like, hey, you need to wear your mask. OK, we really we we need you to wear your mask and you just you need to wear your mask. And th- I mean, she's just hysterical. And she's like, well, when am I going to see the doctor? But I, I, I was here before this girl. I'd been sitting in there for five minutes. So I was like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> And then did you say that? No, no. because I, she was in a tailspin. You know what I mean? She right. was just not doing well. And I was just like, I can't. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to. I'm not engaging with this. You know what I mean? And she doesn't. She's in her own world and she's just really, really not doing well. And then this older guy in a wheelchair gets rolled in by like the slew people or whatever. It's this older guy and he gets rolled in and he's sitting there waiting for his turn patiently. And then this woman just starts going off, knocking on the window, yelling or whatever. And this old guy and me are laughing. Like, I mean, not laughing, but like we're laughing. He was just kind of like, are you kidding me? Because then she starts saying, I was before here before her. I was before here before him. And like, I mean, just hysterical. Her appointment wasn't for like another hour. Oh my and they're God. like, just because you get here, these people have <laughs> scheduled times and they're trying to explain this to her. Like, 
they have scheduled times and they're here at this time. And this is, we're sorry, but you need to sit down. And I mean, she was just fucking hysterical. Then she goes up and knocks on the window again. (gasps) And then this woman comes out and then she goes, who are you? I don't know you. To the woman, (laughs) to the nurse. And the nurse is like, hey, you do know me. That lady was off her chain. Oh, dude, she was losing it. And she's wearing like this tutu outfit. And like crazy colors all over the place, just living it up. And then I had this moment where I was like, holy fuck. I think I know who this fucking lady is. This woman, I realized there's videos of her on YouTube and shit. Like she is, she goes to like music festivals and all dances. over St. Louis. Yes. I know who that That's is. That's who it is. And everything clicked. She got into a fight. There's like a video of her on YouTube getting into a fight with like a family of 12 one time. Oh, my God. Because they were like at a family event and something. And she's all like, and she's when she's at these events, dude, she's just having fun. She's just trying to party, brother. She just wants to fucking dance and live it up. But it clicked as I was leaving there. I was like, oh, my God. I was like, that this lady's famous. <laughs> People, Everybody knows who this woman is. If you go to any shows around here. Like, oh, she is mentally ill. Oh, for she? sure. Yeah, she definitely is. Aww. And so I did. I did. Like, I was like, I felt bad because I yelled at her, like not knowing. But it's like, to be honest, I don't think that woman even thought twice about it. I don't think she was like, oh, my God, this woman setting me. She was already freaking out. And I didn't understand at first. Like, I, she was just being so mean. So I was just like, bruh, you got to stop. <laughs> we're fucking we're trying our best. I didn't curse there. But what I did, told her, I go, you need to calm down. What did. All the people Which is probably the you. worst thing to say to somebody when they're like in a break is to be like, you need to calm down. <laughs> like if if I was freaking out and somebody was like, you need to calm down. I'd be like, oh, dude, I'm going to fuck you yeah, up. Like, Bitch, you need to calm down. I need to fucking calm down. God, I hope they helped her. Yeah. I mean, they knew her there. So they were all like, yeah, she once she gets in the doctor's office, like she calms down and stuff. And they were like, so, you know, they're it's just a Ooh. lot. I know. I felt bad for her because I was like, dude, I mean, I'm here for anxiety and it is unmanageable. And I'm like, I can't even imagine what she's going through. Like how bad her anxiety. She was really mean, but I'm also like, she's also not well, you know, and I was just, but I guess, yeah, but it was so fucking funny. I'm like, dude, this is just my luck. Somebody I fucking yell at. It felt like a fucking (laughs) Curb Your Enthusiasm episode. (laughs) You know, like I was like, motherfucker. Did the people in the waiting room after you did that, were they like... Wait, they what? give you the silent clap after you told her, "Hey, you need to calm down." Yes, they did. <laughs> no one said anything, but I was just like so mad. I was like, "Listen, everybody's fucking stressed out, dude. They've got everybody in these fucking wait this waiting room right when you walk in. You know what I mean? It's just crazy. That's weird. And stuff that they is ha- wild. Like when I went to the GI, uh, they had us wait in our car till yeah. it's time for our appointment. Well, they spaced the chairs yeah. out. In there or whatever. So it's like the, that's the central spot because I think it's slew care. Like it's like, you know, a teaching hospital too mm-hmm. and stuff. So it's like they have like each doctor has their little office. So you just walk in and whatever. I'm assuming normally you would just walk in. But like they take your temperature when you walk in and do all that, you know. Um, Dude, it was wild though. But I mean, I'm I don't know. I'm I'm hopeful. I hope the medicine helped. I hope so too. Did she I say really two do. weeks? Yeah, about two weeks. We'll see. Do you feel less anxious? I just hope anxious? I can still come, brother. You seem, That's you the part I'm worried about. <laughs> you seem less anxious. Do I? Yeah. Really? And not as moving around. Interesting. I mean, you'll still be able to come. It'll just be harder. Okay. Like, you'll have to get an extreme vibrator. You don't think I'll be able to come, Randy? I don't know. I'm not you. It takes it's more work. Well, a lot of women already have trouble coming to begin mm-hmm. with. So it's like, luckily, I have a partner that makes that not an issue. Is he going to yeah, he's gonna tap that ass? Tap that tap fucking that ass. Clit. Going to be like. Blah, blah, blah. You're going to have to get one of those. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to get one of those. Uh, what's it called? Butt plug. Big vibrators, the uh, Hitachi ones that plug in. (laughs) I'm not fucking masturbating with anything that's plugged into a wall. (laughs) 
Not happening. If my sister's listening, stop listening right now, sis. Why? Um, I had a plug-in one for a long time. It finally broke. Because I'm not dealing with the vibrator. Why? Because you got electrocuted? Brother, <laughs> no way. I, I'm i not messing with anything where the batteries... Because in my time, we had battery-operated things. Look, it's a little tongue. <laughs> We had battery operated devices, not the ones that you charge. So yeah. there was a lot of times where it'd be getting down to the nitty gritty of the battery and you're like And you ain't got money for batteries. And I'm like Ugh. Um But now I have what's called the Satisfier Pro Two. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that the one that Chelsea has? Yes. Is it awesome? And Nikki Glazer. A lot of people love that one. It's all about the clip. Change your life. Maybe I need that. We'll see. I think I'll. I think I'll be okay. It, that's cool that I seem less anxious. <laughs> yeah, dude, that thing sucks your clit right out. I showed it to Justin Ulrich, and he goes, "What do you put in the hole?" <laughs> <laughs> Laughed so hard. Oh God, can we delete that whole part? I don't want anybody to know about that. Why? Because I'm so. Sure. Of your uh, masturbating? Yes. Who cares? I think it'll what make people feel. What if my sister's listening? What? It's She'll not, be like, oh, sis. It's not your mom. You know? Who cares? <laughs> yeah. So that's all. I'm just scared of, I'm scared of that. And that was what I told the doctor is I'm like, listen, I have already, since I started trauma therapy, I never had an issue with sex drive for quite some time. And then it was like. Once I started doing trauma therapy, I kind of like, you know, you a lot of shit gets opened up and it's like you just feel weird and you feel sad. And it was like I had a trouble with it, you know, like just having a sex drive and stuff because I, I was dealing with a lot of shit. And it's like, you know, when you're fucking sad, you don't mm-hmm. want to fuck. You're not like, yeah, let's fuck every day. And you're also like in more in touch with your body. Yes. Which is can be weird. Yeah. So I told her, I was like, I already have, uh, am, like, since I started therapy, have had, like, some trouble with that. I'm like, I can't handle having any more trouble with it. So that's the deal. That's just where we're at. So she said that if I, you know, we'll do this for probably, I, I think, a month, six weeks or something like that, reevaluate. And then um, if I'm having trouble with any of that, then we'll do add Wellbutrin on. Because that's supposed to help, like, with. And you'll never smoke again after you take that tight i my doctor when i first took it didn't tell me that it had zofran or whatever Um, and i was smoking i'm like god these fucking cigarettes taste so stale so i threw out that pack when i got a new pack i'm like god these fucking taste stale too then i discovered what it was happening so then i started smoking in my nose wait what you put the cigarette in your nose Oh, dude, that's heavy to bypass, fucking addiction to shit. To bypass the, the taste of it over my tongue. <laughs> because it tastes Wait, so bad. so are you closing one nostril yes. going... Yes. Whoa. And then I didn't... After that, I was like, I don't even want to smoke anymore because it made it taste so bad. Wow. When did you get on the Wellbutrin? Oh, my God. This has been so many years ago. Oh, okay. This was like in my 20s. Oh, okay, okay. Damn, it's been around that long. I've tried them, I've tried them all. And sure. that... Uh, well, butrin make, made me psycho. It made me too elevated. Sure. And were you only on well, butrin at the time, or were you on another SSRI? I think it was uh, an adjunct to okay something adjunct professor. <laughs> it was an adjunct professor, huh? What's he looking at? Man, Tommy Lee smoking through his nose. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm so talking why about. Why did he do so, it? So you were doing that because it's sick as fuck, brother. That means you're hardcore. I don't think you realize. It's that's because hardcore. I was addicted and I wanted my cigarette to taste good. I, I get it. It was terrible. They tasted terrible. I'm like, this is a sick joke this doctor played on me. He didn't even tell me. He should have told me. Man. Yeah, brother. We'll see. I don't know. That was a painful memory right there. That's hilarious. God. It's badass. Tommy Lee did it. I was what mad. Are you on? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure you were. What are you on now? Zoloft. Zoloft. Okay. Is that fluoxetine? 
Is that what it's called? Yes. Okay. There's apparently a shortage of it right now. Mm. That's supposed to be the one I think that causes the most decrease in sex drive. And the most weight gain. Oh, really? But it's the one, all these work for me. Yeah. So my choice is like. Yeah. Be happy and fat or be thin and miserable. Yeah. Can't do that. Um, yeah, yeah, well, and I guess like Lexapro is go- like, that's an OCD medication too. So it's like, if you have OCD, they prescribe it at like 40 milligrams and, uh, yeah, they're, uh, it's, so it's supposed to be really good for anxiety and oh. depression. So we'll see. I don't fucking know. We'll see. I'm going to keep y'all posted. Look at all the side effects. Is that for Zoloft? Yeah. Diarrhea is one of them. Damn. That's a side effect of having a parasite in your intestine. Abnormal ejaculation. <laughs> it, so it means that, like, instead of, like, coming out really, like, fast like it normally does, it puts out, like, like, <laughs> like if you have a hose cranked up and water's <laughs> dripping out. It's if like you have it turned. Ooh. All right. Well, that'll be our, that'll be our, uh, Jeremy Dolce just mentioned me in his... Uh, Me too. Story. Uh oh. Did you show him that? I'm going to show it to him. Yep. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, baby. Well, as as usual, we are not therapists, sex therapists, doctors, or psychologists. So please don't take any of our medical or advice. Or veterinarians. Don't take any of our medical advice. No, please but I don't. I do encourage you to, if you have problems. A reaching climax to get yourself a plug-in vibrator. A Satisfier <laughs> Pro 2. Satisfier Pro 2. Yeah, buddy. And if you don't know what to put in the hole, figure it out. Don't put... And then go... <laughs> <laughs> what? Every time you come, you go... Wow, <laughs> wow, <laughs> Oh, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> the eyes crossed. They're like ever so slightly That's crossed. Like the Bobby Jaycox look. Yep. You and Bobby. <laughs> oh. Mm, shit. All right. Well, that was uh, an eventful episode. This is informative. It was very informative. Yeah. I don't know, brothers. Just brothers. figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm I talking can, about. I could hear it through your headphones. You could. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming to town. Yep. It's been real. <laughs> Slop town. Slop.com. Slop city. Oh, Slop city. All right. Bye. Thanks, Randy. Bye. Love y'all. And cut. <laughs> oh, yeah.